you ever get to thinking about the old days when you were a kid and maybe a happy memory pops into your head? Uh, I was curious if this company still existed, so I googled it. And sure enough, it's still in existence. And uh, this is them right here. And the only reason I googled them is because they were right across the street from this building, which was the building I grew up in, basically. My, it was my dad's welding shop. And uh, I started going there every day of my life after school and on weekends, starting at about the age of 12. No, it was, I was younger than that. Uh, down here is Camerata's Junkyard. And they, it used to be uh, cars, but it's all truck parts now, Camerata's truck parts. And uh, when I was oh, 11, 10, 11, 12, that age, I had a mini bike. And I would start down here. Here, let me let me go to another map. I would start down here, and I would ride my mini bike all the way down this road. Back then, this was a dirt road with a lot of potholes and everything. And I would turn around right here and ride it back, back and forth, back and forth all day long. And uh, sometimes I'd be in the shop, which is right here. And that's where I learned to weld. That's where I learned to build things, right there. And I wonder if the people who have this building now know this, this roof wasn't here. Right back at the corner of this building right here was an underground gas tank. Uh, it used to be a fuel oil tank. And back during the 70s, they had an oil embargo and uh, my dad had tons of equipment he had to operate, dump trucks and uh, dozers and backhoes and track hoes and snow plows. So uh, he sunk a huge tank back here and he filled it up with diesel fuel. And, uh, you know, it was all on the, I mean, you couldn't do that now. They, my God, you'd go to jail. I wonder if it's still there. But uh, when I was a little kid, I used to ride my midi bike from here over... To this building, I go. Actually, this part of the building wasn't here, and they had a back door here. And just inside that back door was a soda machine. And uh, in those days, you had uh, bottles, glass bottles that had deposits on them, and they wouldn't. They would let me come in and get a soda as long as I brought the bottles back. So sometimes my dad would send me over there with a buck. And uh, I'd ride my mini bike over here, and I had a basket on the front, and I would get 10 sodas, and I'd ride back over there, and whenever we finished the sodas up, I'd ride back over there and give them the bottles back. And uh, they were cool with me getting sodas, as long as they brought the bottles back. And, you know, I rode, uh, probably for five or six years, I rode that mini bike up and down this road here. And uh, when I got older, well, here, let me go to the end of the road. I'm going to tell you another story before I tell you that okay remember this was all gravel gravel road and I would ride it right down to the end here turn around and go back and this corner used to be a house and there was uh, some people there that had a horse and that was the one only time in my whole life I ever rode a horse they let me sit on it and ride it around in their pasture no saddle no bridle no nothing just they just let me sit on it and uh, every once in a while when my dad wasn't looking I would come across this road, I'd come down here, and I'd drive down this dirt road, which it's not dirt now, and I can't remember what the business was, but I would come down here and I'd just make a big circle and go back, all the stuff is there, back here, back here, back down the road to where, <clears throat> okay, here's a good story, Google this. Right here where my arrow is, this used to be a company called Old Fox Fertilizer. And right now, they fall under some kind of a toxic waste super fund. And for many years, there was a building here and they made fertilizer. The railroad tracks is right back here. And uh, I used to ride my mini bike in that parking lot, blowing dust and breathing all that toxic stuff in. 
<laughs> Come back up, ride my mini bike back down here. And uh, this used to be a uh, tar hot mix road surface material right here. And a guy named Ted Olko, O L K O, owned that. And back to my dad's shop, in which we heated that whole shop with wood. And what we did here, and my dad worked on all kinds of heavy equipment. And he built things, he built trailers, and uh, wood stoves. He built wood stoves. And uh, he uh, customized drive shafts, he fixed radiators. There was just nothing that my dad couldn't build. And uh, now let me blow this up just a little bit. I'm going to show you where I went to school. Okay, you're going to follow the railroad tracks. These are railroad tracks right here. That's where my dad's shop was. And I used to have to walk down these railroad tracks. And then when I would get to Moody Road, I would walk down this way to, this used to be called Enrico Fermi High School. And I freaking hated school more than anything on this entire planet. To this day, I have hated nothing more than school. Anyway, I would get out early. I would get out at noon when I would go. Uh, more than more than more often than not, I wouldn't even go to school. And I'd walk down that road at noon to this railroad track. Where was it? Right here. Hmm. Kind of lost where I was now. Yep. Yep. Go go to work for my dad, and then just quit going to school eventually, and then then I joined the army and never went back. Oh, here's a, another interesting tidbit. Uh, this was the shop here, and this was the uh, correctional facilities. And back then, it was called Summers State Prison. And that's what it's called now. But uh, my dad would hire these guys for the early release. And uh, I don't know how they would get there. I can't remember. But he had always had one or two of the prisoners working for him. And he treated them good and paid them good. And uh, so I got to hang out some pretty interesting characters when I was, you know, 11, 12, 13. Up until I was uh, 16. And uh, now I'm going to, if I can remember how we went from here to my house where I was born and raised. I think this is the road. I'm looking for, yeah, that's it, Bacon Road. And then this road. Brainerd, that's it, Brainerd Road. And then we turn right on Washington Road, and I'm looking for Roosevelt, Roosevelt Boulevard. Oh yeah, here we go, Roosevelt Boulevard. And this is it, Kearney Road. And this house here is where I was born and raised. That was the Martins, that was the Jennings, the Suchies, the Maynards, the Kermays, and uh, these people fought all the time, but I can't remember their name. Huh. Okay. Enough of nostalgia. I've mentioned before that uh, every morning I get up and check my email and I have people that want to send me free crap and here's three companies right here and uh, I've already done this and I, I said I'm not gonna do this anymore and, uh, <clears throat> they sent me a free one of these and I did an install video 
And then uh, there's this company, Through Night, and I've actually had them send me some flashlights and done a review. And they're actually really good flashlights, and I, you know, I, I like their flashlights, but I'm just not going to accept any more free stuff in exchange for my review. Uh, I never did come across anything bad that deserved a bad review, but I have that fear. Somebody sending me something free. Why would somebody send me a five-pack of wedding bands? I mean, what the hell could I say about <clears throat> about wedding bands? Very weird. All right, I just thought I'd show you that. I've mentioned I've mentioned before that. I get offers for free crap all the time, and my new my new BC truck policy is no thank you. If it's good enough for a review, it's good enough for me to go buy it.